Munich, Berlin. Both cities in Germany, but very different places. Hey everyone, I'm Dana and you're watching Wanted Adventure Living Abroad. I live in Munich and I've visited Berlin about five or six times now and during this last trip in particular I took down some notes of some of the things that I noticed were pretty different between Berlin and Munich. So here are some of those now. Quick introduction. So first of all, Berlin is really much bigger than Munich, about three times the size of Munich in area and there are about 3.5 million people living in Berlin and only 1.5 million people living in Munich. Also, Berlin is the capital of Germany while Munich obviously is not, but Munich is the capital of Bavaria and Berlin is not only the capital of Germany, but it is also one of the 16 German states. So Berlin is actually a city state. The TV tower. As far as the skyline goes, there's one really big thing that stands out in Berlin that doesn't so much in Munich. And by big, I mean tall. And by stand out, I mean it literally stands out because it's the TV tower. In Berlin, it really felt like the TV tower kind of followed us around everywhere that we went. So wherever we were going around in the city, we would often look up and, oh, hey, look, there's the TV tower again. It, was like always not too far away. Whereas in Munich, there is also a TV tower, but I lived here for I think around five years before ever really even noticing it. It is definitely not featured as prominently in the city as in Berlin. In Berlin, I don't think that it is possible not to see the TV tower, except of course, if it's foggy while you're there, then you might not see it, which did actually happen to me a couple of trips to Berlin. I went there and didn't see the TV tower at all because it was just covered in fog the whole time. Construction in the city. I've heard people in Munich complain that it feels like everywhere you go in Munich, the whole city is under construction. No, you wanna see a whole city under construction, go to Berlin because really, everywhere we looked, temporary above ground pipes, cranes and scaffolding. And we also noticed an interesting difference in the kind of construction being done. And by we noticed, I mean Mr. German Man noticed that in Berlin, a lot of the construction was to renovate existing buildings, while in Munich, a lot of the construction is of new apartment buildings. Getting around town. Both Munich and Berlin have public transportation, but they look a little different in shape and design of the trains and trams and also in color. The dominant public transportation color in Munich is blue while in Berlin it is yellow. And when walking around town in Berlin, I did notice more people just crossing over red than in Munich. So not waiting for the crosswalk light to turn green, but just looking both ways and then crossing. I did notice more people doing that in Berlin than I usually see here in Munich. As I've mentioned before, here in Munich, there are even signs reminding people not to do this in order to, as the sign says, set a good example for the children. And while we're on crosswalks in Berlin, in the area that was East Berlin, the figures on the crosswalks actually look different too. The river. I totally love Munich, please don't get me wrong, but there is just something about a city with a big old river running through it that I just can't help but love. That is, after all, one of the things that made me fall instantly in love with Prague. And Berlin's got that river, a big river with boats and cruises, and it's just a much more dominant part of the city than in Munich. Munich also has a river, yes, but it's much smaller and kind of tucked away in the city. I actually visited Munich several times before ever even seeing the river. I guess in that way, it's kind of like the TV tower in Munich. Spätkauf. 
In Berlin, there's something called Spätis, which is short for Spätverkaufsstelle. These are smaller stores that sell drinks and little food things later on into the night. Something that does not exist in Munich, but that I have definitely been grateful to have several times while I was in Berlin. Graffiti. As I mentioned in the video that I made in Berlin last summer, there is a lot more graffiti and street art in Berlin than in Munich. As I said in the video, Berlin seems to walk this very fine line between grunge and being trendy. Historical markers. Both Munich and Berlin are cities with a lot of history and some of it a very dark history. But while in Berlin, all over the city, I saw so many different signs with a lot of information about what happened there, pictures, detailed descriptions, and historical accounts. In Munich, I rarely, if ever, see signs with information on them about what happened in that location, let alone photographs or historical accounts. Also, in Berlin, they have what are called Stolpersteine, stumbling stones or stumbling blocks. These are concrete blocks with a brass plate on the top laid into the sidewalk. They are placed, as the Stolpersteine Berlin website explains, in front of the last voluntarily chosen places of residence of the victims of the Nazis. The name and information about what happened to the person is engraved on top of the Stolpersteine. I will put a link down below to the Stolpersteine Berlin website, which is in both English and German, if you'd like more information. So my question for you is, what differences have you noticed between Berlin and Munich? And what is your favorite city in the world? please let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and also a really big thank you so much to our patrons on Patreon who help make these videos possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you would like to check out our Patreon page, you can find a link to that down in the description box below. Until next time, Auf Wiedersehen. Got that river, a big, big, Thing. Whereas in Munich, I just don't really put your video. While we were going around the city, it didn't matter where we were in the TV tower in the city. No, wait. Did I say million or billion? I said million, right? Munich and Berlin. Ready?